Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how you can scan anything, paper, documents, receipts, all using your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so we've got everything we need here set up. We've got our iOS device. This is gonna work with any iPhone, any iPad that has at least iOS 13 or later. You can even do this on an iPod Touch, I believe. We've got the iPhone 10 right here, so we're good to go. You also wanna make sure that you have the document or receipt that you wanna be scanning prepared. So have it on a flat surface like this and make sure that the color of the paper is contrasting with the background. So if this is white, we've got a dark green, and that way you have your best chance of a good scan. Now, once you've got that all prepared, you wanna take your iPhone and open the Notes application, and then we're gonna create a new note at the bottom. And you can see that there's some options. The Notes app has really advanced over the years. The one we're going to use is the little camera icon and you can see when we open that we can now scan documents, take photos or videos and even access our photo library. For this we're going to tap on scan documents and then we're going to hold our phone over the document and it's going to scan automatically. So we tap scan documents, hold the phone over the document like so. Give it a second, you'll see that it turns yellow and you can scan multiple documents over and over. You can see it's gonna continuously scan. You can even scan it yourself. So if it's having any trouble, you can just tap the scan and you'll see that it has little kind of circles on the corner so you can adjust it. So let's say you only wanted half of the scan here. You could just scan half and then tap keep scan and it'll keep it there for you as well. Now, you do have a preview at the bottom left, so you can see everything that you've scanned, and you can swipe through them pretty easily. From this preview window, you do have options where you can crop at the bottom, so if you did wanna crop it down or bring it back to its original size, you could. So let's say we just wanted the top half, for example, and then we can tap Done. You also have some filters here. So if you are planning to print this out, this is actually in blue ink. You can set it to a grayscale, black and white, or even turn it into like a photo looking background as well. You have an option here where you can rotate it. For example, let's say the photo or the picture was sideways, you can rotate it and then you can always trash it if you don't want it anymore as well. At the top, you have options to retake. So if you didn't like it, you trash it, you can tap retake and you can retake your scan just like normal. And while you're taking your scans, for example, we'll tap done, you have options at the top where you can turn the flash on, off, or have it at auto. I just leave it at auto, it's usually fine. I usually have good lighting here. You can also then add those filters right from this area of live. So grayscale, if you wanted to, black and white, you can see it changes the color. So if we let it scan there and we take a quick look, you'll see this one here and then you'll see our black and white option. So if you do want to print it out, that way you don't have to do it after you've made the scan. And then you also have the ability to save them. So when you tap save here, all of your scans are gonna appear in this little box where it says scan documents. You can scroll through them, you can tap on them to get to your editing, and then you have those editing options once again. You can tap done to finish. You can also share this. Now you can share the whole note because you can type at the bottom as well. Right? So if you choose to share the whole note, it's gonna share the whole thing. And you can use any of these options, whether you wanna send it by email, if you wanna send it to your files, anything like that, you can use that. Or you can tap on the scan, and you have another share button up here, and you can tap share here and do the same thing where this is only gonna share the scan. So you can copy them, you can print it. So if you have a printer that has wireless capabilities, you can print it or you can even share it to your files and uh, make sure you just rename it anything you want. So let's just say it was called notes and we'll tap done and then we tap save. And if we go to our files here, you can see my note is right there. And this is great, especially if you're gonna upload things. If they're in your files, usually you'll be able to select things to upload. So if you have like websites or things like that that you upload files to, that's a great way to do so. And then finally, if you do wanna change the name in the note, you can tap on your scan and then tap the name at the top and you can change the name there as well and then tap save. When you're completed, click done. And then if you tap notes again, there's your note with your scan and it's saved there. Now you can create a whole bunch of folders in here and then add all of your scans to it. So if you wanna scan all your receipts for business, you can put them all in your notes app. You have them on the cloud if you have it set up. It's a great feature to have 
and utilize with your iPhone and it's overlooked but as I said it's really useful and I find myself using it all the time so I hope this video helped you out that's how you scan documents receipts or anything with your iOS device we're using the iPhone 10 as I said it'll work with the iPhone 11 iPhone 8 any iPhone that has iOS 13 or later an iPad and iPod touch if you guys have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one